morning, I'm Jeff Herndon. Swift justice for a Harvey County family. Keith Hawkins pleaded guilty today to capital murder and the deaths of a mother and child. The bodies of 24-year-old Alyssa Runyon and 4-year-old Zaylin Paz were found four months ago today. Runyon was beaten. Zaylin was stabbed. KSN's Carly Willis was at today's hearing. She joins us live from the Harvey County Courthouse. Carly. Jeff, friends and family of Alyssa and Zaylin were in the courtroom today and tears were shed. But with Keith Hawkins' guilty plea agreement, the family will not have to endure months or even years of reliving the harrowing details in the girl's death. Uh, let us not forget that on August 8th, two people brutally lost their lives. Alyssa Runyon and Zaylin Paz. The trauma of that day in August when Alyssa Runyon and Zaylin Paz were found dead in their Newton home is still fresh with both investigators of the case and family members. Today in court, a judge confirmed that 20-year-old Keith Hawkins knew what he was getting into in entering a guilty plea and agreeing to life in prison without the possibility of parole, which will bypass a potential years-long trial. This brings the family some, some swift closure to the case and so they don't have to keep reliving it. I don't think I've ever seen as egregious and painful and senseless a case as what we've dealt with um, here. Yoder said that the plea was considered with the family's approval in mind. However, in an unprecedented move, Hawkins agreed to a written statement to family following his sentencing, answering some of their questions of why. Uh, that's a very unusual thing, but the defendant did agree to it. The family asked that we negotiate that, and uh, so that's, that hopefully will help give them some, some semblance of closure. Hawkins' only request today was to lift the no-contact order the state had placed on his own mother, as she was listed as a witness in the case. The court agreed, so Hawkins' mother will be able to communicate with him in jail. Hawkins' sentencing is scheduled for February 9th, and at that point, he will present a statement to the family. Live in Harvey County, Carly Willis, KSN News.